And do we really trust Josh McDaniels, Raider Nation, or is it just one game? Because I want to question his play calling decisions. You know, we're down by 21 points in the third quarter and he decides to punt it right when your defense just gave up a 13 play drive. Why not go for it? You know, we got to keep up. We're down by 21 points. We got to go score for score with these guys. We're going to lose the game. And we sure as, and we punted it. And the next drive, they the Bills get a touchdown. We get the ball back. And what do we do? Three and out again. We had only ran six plays in the second half up until with like five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That's that's horrendous. That means your defense can't get off the field for worth a shit. And your offense can't sustain the drive at all. What's up, Raider Nation? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Raider Laos. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you already subscribed, hit that like, hit that bell so you're notified every time I come out with a video. And also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like what I'm doing or if you don't. Well, damn, Raider Nation. Same story, different year. Our defense sucks again. We can't generate a pass rush and we can't cause any turnovers. Same story every year, man. Are we ever going to get better on defense? Is Patrick Graham ever going to make any halftime adjustments? And is he ever going to go away from the game plan and try something else? Because all we were doing is playing 5 to 10 yards off the ball all game, not blitzing, and it didn't work in the first, second, third, or fourth quarter. You know, our defense couldn't stop a nosebleed. They were getting 5 to 8 yards every rush attempt, it seems. We couldn't even get any tackles for loss. We never got any negative plays out of them. You know, and when we would get a tackle in the backfield, they would break the tackle and end up getting two, three yards more. It was a very bad game in all phases of the game. We absolutely got our asses kicked today. And like I said, our, our corners were five to ten yards off the line of scrimmage every single play, it seemed. We weren't up on the line of scrimmage playing man to man. You know, and these guys were getting free releases all day long. At one point, I think Josh Allen was 22 for 25 in the third quarter, it seemed. He barely had any incompletions all game. And you know, where the hell was Hunter Renfro? Are we even going to utilize him? Because at this point, let's just trade him. You know, we're paying him, I think, 12 to 13 million a year for nothing. For one target in two weeks? Are you kidding me? And do we really trust Josh McDaniels, Raider Nation, or is it just one game? Because I want to question his play calling decisions. You know, we're down by 21 points in the third quarter, and he decides to punt it. Right when your defense just gave up a 13 play drive, why not go for it? You know, we got to keep up. We're down by 21 points. We got to go score for score with these guys. We're going to lose the game. And we sure as, and we punted it. And the next drive, they the Bills get a touchdown. We get the ball back. And what do we do? Three and out again. We had only ran six plays in the second half up until with like five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That's that's horrendous. That means your defense can't get off the field for worth a shit and your offense can't sustain the drive at all. I thought Josh McDaniels was brought here to be the offensive guru. You know, Jimmy played another game with under 200 passing yards. Man, is this is this what we're going to expect out of our offense this year? And you know, we're down by 28 points. You know, the game's already over. I know there's time left on the clock, but why not take Jimmy G out? He's injury prone. He rarely finishes a season. Why not take him out? But you leave him in, you leave Devontae in, and what happens to Devontae? He ends up getting hurt. And we all know what happens if you go into concussion protocol that week. More than likely, you're missing a minimum of one game unless a miracle happens, guys. So you can pretty much bet that Devontae is going to be out this home opener against the Steelers. He's most likely not going to play this week. Let's hope Jacoby Myers comes back because if we don't have either of our top two receivers, we're going to be in trouble on the offensive side of the ball come this week. And you know what today really showed us is that we're not ready to contend with the big dogs because we got our asses kicked in Buffalo. How do we expect to go on the road in the playoffs and play against a team of this caliber if we can't generate a pass rush, if we can't cause any turnovers? You know, that's really disgusting. Josh Allen has led the league in turnovers for the last two years. He just got embarrassed on national television last week and, get, and, and gave up four. And we couldn't get at least one. We couldn't get a fumble. We couldn't get an interception. We couldn't get a damn sack. Man, our defense was very disgusting. 
Yes, I know we got one sack, one blitz from De Devin Diablo. But where was Max Crosby? Where's Tyree Wilson? We invested a first-round draft pick on this guy, and this guy's yet to be seen. He's yet to be on the stat sheet yet. You know, and there was no interior pass rush. Are we ever going to address that? You know, the Jerry Tillers of the world, the Bilal Nichols, they ain't cutting it, guys. These guys are not going to take us to the next level. You know what happened to all that hype this offseason about our defense being able to commit turnovers, being able to get sacks, to get after the quarterback? What happened to all that? You know, we couldn't generate any of that today. You know, yes, I know the Bills just got embarrassed on national television on Monday night last week, and they were coming home to their home opener, and they wanted to kick the Raiders in the ass. And that really showed. Because I could, as you can see, they never took their foot off the gas pedal. They were scoring at will. You know, in the fourth quarter, when they were up by 21 points, they continued to move the ball down the field. They really wanted to put a, a stamp on this game. You know, and it seems like we still can't cover tight ends. Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid were running down the field and wide open, catching balls at will. You know, where was Robert Spillane and Devin Diablo and Luke Masterson? You know, it seems like we still can't cover the tight end. And, you know, something that was very disgusted about is Robert Spillane missing those tackles in the backfield. Like I said, I don't think we got a single tackle for loss today. Our defense sh straight up didn't show up. And what was the whole point of going to West Virginia after the Denver game? I thought we were we went over there to get acclimated to the weather, to the, to the time difference, and we would be ready to go in Buffalo. And we sure as hell weren't. The first drive, we went down the field and scored in five plays. Defense, we got three and out, but that was it. That was all she wrote. You know, the next drive, we scored a field goal, but, you know, our offense didn't show up today. Our defense sure as hell didn't. They never got off the plane. You know, someone. this is a fireable offense. You know, I'm not saying to fire someone, but how do you give up 38 points? You know, like I said, Patrick Graham never changed up his philosophy. He never went man-to-man. -man. He never just went crazy with the blitzes. He was keeping it conservative the whole game. You know, the only player that really stood out on defense was Marcus Epps. He made a lot of great plays. He he came up on the run to help out. On one third down, uh, Stephon Diggs made a catch, and he came up and made a stop to, to make a fourth down. But the Bills went for it on every fourth down they had a chance to. You know, and that, sh that speaks volumes. That tells you that they don't respect our defense. And shit, why should they? We couldn't stop them at all. I thought our defense took a step in the right direction this year. But it clearly shows that we're not ready to compete yet. You know, let's see what happens this week with Pittsburgh. You know, I'll come out in the week and let you guys know on a preview. But as of right now, I'm really disgusted. Let's just move on with this game. Get ready with for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Josh McDaniels. Do you still have faith in him? You know, it was just one game against the Bills. Was it an anomaly? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, Raider Nation, peace.